Welcome to Mystic Deep Woods, where we uncover the most fascinating secrets of the animal kingdom. Today we're diving into one of nature's most curious dietary choices. Why do giant pandas rely almost exclusively on bamboo? Think about it. A massive bear, built with the same digestive system as its meat-eating relatives, chooses to munch on nothing but tough, fibrous bamboo. It seems like an odd choice. Doesn't it? Yet, pandas have spent millions of years perfecting this bamboo-only lifestyle. But how did they get here? And is there any chance they could ever change their diet? Stick around as we explore the science, history, and adaptations that make pandas one of nature's most unusual eaters. The Bamboo Diet, an Insatiable Appetite before we dive into the why, let's first talk about how much bamboo a panda actually eats. If you think you have a big appetite, wait until you hear this. A single adult panda consumes between 25 to 40 pounds, 11 to 18 kilograms of bamboo per day. That's nearly half of their body weight in food every single day. Unlike other herbivores, pandas don't have an efficient way to extract maximum nutrition from plants. Their digestive systems, which are still structured like those of carnivores, struggle to break down plant fibers. To compensate, they simply eat all the time, sometimes spending up to 14 hours a day just chewing bamboo. And what about variety? Well, there really isn't much. Pandas eat over 30 different species of bamboo, but they always favor the young shoots and tender leaves which are easier to digest. When those aren't available, they'll eat the tougher stalks, but only as a last resort. Why bamboo? How pandas became vegetarian bears. So, how did pandas, members of the bear family, become dedicated herbivores? To understand this, we have to rewind about four to six million years Early ancestors of pandas were likely omnivores, meaning they ate both plants and meat. However, as their habitat changed, their diet gradually shifted. Scientists believe that when climate shifts reduced the availability of prey and other food sources, pandas adapted to survive on bamboo, a resource that was abundant, fast-growing, and available year-round. Unlike other animals that competed for fruits, nuts, and meat, pandas found their niche in bamboo forests, where few other creatures could survive on such a low-energy diet. Interestingly, even though pandas stopped eating meat, their bodies never fully adapted to plant digestion. This is why they have to consume so much bamboo just to get enough energy to survive. Panda Anatomy, built for bamboo. Pandas have evolved some incredible adaptations that help them process their bamboo-heavy diet. One, powerful jaws and teeth. A panda's bite is one of the strongest of any land animal. Their massive molars and strong jaw muscles are designed to grind tough bamboo into digestible pieces. Two, thumbs for gripping, while pandas don't have true thumbs. They have an elongated wrist bone that acts like one. This adaptation lets them grab and strip bamboo stalks with impressive dexterity. 3. Slow Metabolism Pandas have an extremely low metabolic rate, which means they don't burn energy as quickly as other bears. This allows them to survive on a diet that provides very few calories. 4. A highly selective digestive system, even though they eat plants. Pandas don't have the special stomach chambers found in other herbivores. Instead, their gut microbiome has adjusted to partially break down bamboo's tough cellulose, though not very efficiently. All of these traits allow pandas to thrive on bamboo, even though they aren't biologically perfect for digesting it. Pandas and protein, can they eat meat? It's a surprising fact, but pandas are still technically capable of eating meat. 
in the wild. They have been observed occasionally eating small mammals, birds, or even scavenging on carcasses. However, this is extremely rare and typically only happens when food is scarce. Pandas lack the hunting skills of their carnivorous relatives, and they don't produce enough digestive enzymes to efficiently process animal proteins. So, while a panda could eat meat, its body simply isn't designed to thrive on it. Bamboo remains its best bet for survival. What about pandas in captivity? You might be wondering, do pandas raised in zoos still eat only bamboo? The answer is, mostly. Yes. Even when given access to other foods like rice, apples, and vegetables, pandas choose to eat bamboo for at least 75% of their diet. Zoologists sometimes provide nutrient-rich biscuits or fruits to ensure pandas get enough vitamins and minerals. But bamboo always remains their primary food source. This shows just how deeply ingrained the panda's relationship with bamboo really is. The Downsides of a Bamboo Diet As unique as panda's bamboo diet is, it does come with several major challenges. 1. Low Energy Low speed, since bamboo doesn't provide much energy. Pandas are not very active. They spend most of their time eating or sleeping and rarely move quickly. 2. No hibernation, unlike other bears. Pandas don't hibernate. They simply can't store enough fat from their bamboo diet to survive an entire winter without eating. 3. Reproduction challenges. A bamboo diet means pandas struggle to produce high-quality milk for their cubs. As a result, panda mothers spend much longer caring for their young compared to other bears. 4. Habitat dependency, because pandas only eat bamboo. They require specific environments to survive. Deforestation and habitat destruction have dramatically reduced the amount of land where pandas can live. These factors make pandas one of the most vulnerable species on Earth. While conservation efforts have helped increase their numbers, habitat loss remains a major threat to their survival. Could pandas ever stop eating bamboo? This is an interesting question. Could pandas evolve back into omnivores? Theoretically, if bamboo became scarce enough, pandas might gradually begin eating more diverse foods again. However, this process would take thousands or even millions of years. For now, pandas are too specialized to switch back to meat-based diets. Their bodies have fully adapted to bamboo, and shifting away from it would require major evolutionary changes. That's why protecting bamboo forests is crucial for their survival. Without their primary food source, pandas would face catastrophic population declines. The Magic of Pandas and Bamboo the story of pandas and bamboo is one of adaptation, survival, and ecological balance. What started as a temporary shift in diet millions of years ago became a defining trait that shaped an entire species. While their diet comes with challenges, it also makes pandas one of the most unique and beloved animals on Earth. So next time you see a panda lazily munching on bamboo, remember, Behind that adorable face lies an ancient evolutionary mystery that scientists are still trying to fully understand. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to Mystic Deep Woods for more incredible animal stories. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of nature.